back to activities 101 do you guys want to know what we're doing for our video today we are doing we are doing the top celeb gossip right now i saw this video idea on tiktok it was like 50 video ideas and one of them was celeb gossip and i was like i am all up in celebrity gossip I have some water here with me because we're going to be talking a lot. But I love celebrity gossip so much. So, I, you know, like, I would love to just talk about celebrity gossip forever. But I am going to do my research. And today on celebrity gossip, we're going to do all the new celebrity gossip. We're going to talk about the Kardashians, Taylor Swift and her new appearance with selena gomez and some paparazzi photos to go with that we are gonna dive deep into everything it's gonna be a short 10 minute celebrity gossip so if you guys love some celeb gossip and want me to break down the news of the time which is right now then i'm here for it i know we're just gonna start somewhere okay I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go do my research, we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna have all this little gossip for you guys to talk about. Okay guys, we are back. I have my notebook with everything we're gonna talk about today. You know, we might, we might not be able to get through everything, but we're gonna try and get through as much as we can. While I share my opinion, but before we get started, I wanna just disclaimer, I'm not a professional in this area. I've got this stuff on TikTok and the internet. And so I want to let you guys know that if anything I say is wrong, like, I am so sorry to spread false information. I don't, I could have gotten false information from somebody else. I'm just trying to do this for fun of it. I'm not trying to make fun of any celebrities or anything like that. I want to make sure this is like, I, I, everybody that's watches this understands it. I'm not doing this to make fun of anybody, call anybody out. Okay. We're starting off with Miley Cyrus. I don't know if you guys have heard any of this stuff, Miley Cyrus. Um, so the headline for this one said Miley Cyrus embarrassed Kendall Jenner. Um, oh wow, guys. I am a fan of both. I love Miley Cyrus and I love Kendall Jenner. So I'm a fan of both celebrities. Um, I hate it when two people that I love, like two celebrities that I have kind of, that I really like and love, like don't, don't agree with each other. Like I love it. My favorite thing is when I know this is not my wife, my favorite thing is when like two celebrities that I really, really like are friends with each other and that's I'm like, perfection. <laughs> So, Miley Cyrus apparently embarrassed Kendall Jenner and said this was after a fashion show, I believe. I don't really know the complete context of this and why she said this, but she said, you think you have a free pass to bully others online and not get caught. That's apparently what she said from an insider that knows this it could have been different we don't know but this is apparently what she said and so i think that there's a lot of backstory you need to prove that she said she said this but another thing is adding in to this sudden spark spark and it's not sudden it's not a sudden outburst um there's a lot of a backstory that plays into why I'm sorry if I had done any of this stuff and any of this stuff. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so sorry about that. I should have closed my door. So I feel like another some backstory. Miley Cyrus has been a good friend of Selena Gomez's since their Disney days, and Selena Gomez doesn't necessarily get along with Kendall Jenner because of Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber. So a lot of people play into this story, <laughs> but people are saying that Kendall Jenner cried after this, after she called Kendall Jenner out for this. And a lot of people are saying 
that Miley Cyrus kind of really embarrassed Kylie Jenner. We don't know if it was true. We don't know what she said online. But I'm getting a hint of the fact I don't think Kim Jenner would be very mean online. I think she can get mean if she is accused of something and she wants to defend herself. But from a person standpoint, I don't think she would just blatantly be rude if there wasn't like a backstory to this. So I don't know. Um, but I definitely think that that's something to, to accuse somebody of bullying online. That's something that you need a lot of backstory to prove and you need to know why this happened. So, I don't know. So, keeping in the Kardashians, Kim Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian, a few of their friends dressed as the brat dolls for Halloween. Now, let me tell you guys. I thought their outfits were really, really cute and coordinated, and I thought they all looked great. They really did play the roles of the brat dolls. They all looked amazing. But people are saying that Chloe's skin shade was like 10 times darker than what it usually is, and accusing her of wanting to be black. Now, let me tell you guys, how many times have the Kardashians been accused of this? Just think at all that a moment while I take a little, or I take a sip of my water. How many times in the past couple years have the Kardashians been accused of this? Like ten thousand times. I think that we have evaluated this so far that we need to stop accusing them of this, guys. But people have commented under pictures from that people have said stuff like she wants to be black she wanted to see what she would look like if she was black and i just don't think they would ever want to do that or ever be intention have the intention to do that there's obviously so many different perspectives out there of the situation dokey so the next things is kind of stupid the next ones we're talking about here is is just generally all around stupid and I will put pictures of this up here because I think this is hilarious. People are saying that Cardi B packs a fancy lunch for her daughter culture. Look at the picture up here. Anybody could pack this lunch. Anybody could pack a lunch like that. Anybody. Yeah, okay, there's three drinks three drinks that you can buy at Ingles for like two bucks like it's not a fancy over-the-top lunch at all I think it's like just a super also there was comments saying to people that Cardi it was having a cook do this what do you need a cook for anybody can make what looks like microwavable mac and cheese and then put some little other things in here I think this is a basic elementary to preschool I'm not really sure if she's an elementary school or, or preschool or kindergarten but I think this is a basic lunch right here that's all I'm gonna say on this <laughs> okay next we're going to the fun part Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey I don't want to make this all about Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey but I had to touch on it I also didn't want to make this all about Taylor Swift but I had to touch on it a lot of this stuff you guys might have already heard. I know there's so much stuff out there about Taylor Swift and Ka Travis Kelsey and just Taylor Swift and the heiress to him. And probably most of this stuff is not like this week recent, but it's definitely more recent. Um, Taylor Swift, I love how Taylor Swift spends her money. She's making a lot, but she spends it so amazingly. So she donated it. 125,000 meals to a local food bank in Tampa, Florida. I thought this was so sweet to hear about. Oh my gosh, guys, like what? And then we get to Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. People are mad. This whole thing is just a mess with drama and gossip and fake accusations and everything. But apparently, I didn't really get into detail. I honestly didn't really understand. I saw a couple videos on Travis Kelsey spelling something about like a signing paper thing with Taylor Swift. 
I did not understand it one bit. I was kind of like, I don't really know what that is. So I didn't really want to speak on that because I knew I was going to say everything wrong and I was like, I don't really know what that is. We'll leave that to somebody else to discuss. <laughs> but um, people are saying there's been a lot of PDA between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey lately. Um, they were spotted kissing lot of, lots of PDA at a New York party an after party for I'm not quite sure but I know it was an after party for I think a football related thing and there was a lot of PDA going on people but I also want to talk about there was like some main factors that Taylor Swift has affected in Travis Kelsey's life in the NFL world so I want to touch I have one two three four five five things that kind of changed after she was spotted watching football games and her and Travis Kelsey started dating. So, uh, Travis Kelsey gained half a million Instagram followers. I think it might be more now. Last time I checked, it was half a million. I'm not really sure. Um, NFL has been changing their whole profile to serve around Taylor Swift. I, they did a post about NFL Taylor's version. That was the caption for one of their posts was NFL Taylor's version. And then um, they're just changing their social media profiles. Um, it's crazy. I think that they've done a lot of things like they did a little date on when Taylor Swift was there in, her, in their bio. Um, and the NFL is teaching Swifties about football. There's been multiple videos about it multiple tweets about the nfl kind of explaining football to the swifties and thank you very much because although i would love to just watch football just to see a taylor swift it's not very interesting to not understand it and to just watch it for like the five seconds taylor swift is shown so now we can watch it and enjoy more than just the part that taylor swift is shown um and then for my fifth thing for travis kelsey's jersey 400% spike sale spike in Travis Kelsey's jersey sales. I think all of us knew that, but I'll put it out there again. Crazy. We're making this video really long. So, um I think we might save some of the other stuff for another gossip video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I forgot to put my little um bookmark in here there we go I have some gossip for next video that we can talk about the next stuff is interesting let me tell you that much so stay tuned for part two of the celebrity gossip please send celebrity gossip and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day